Three sports for more than two decades in Fayette County. But over the weekend, John Strickland lost his battle with colon cancer. Coaches and student athletes in Fayette County say that Coach Strickland always put his students first. And they told Joe Hankey that is why he continued to coach and teach up until his final days. Fayette Got County High boys Got basketball coach work. Andre Flynn at practice today. Don't ever give up. Keep working. Just got to keep working. Echoed a few of Coach John Strickland's final words. He said make sure the Fayette County girls and the Fayette County boys continue to stay on top. Make sure they still continue to do what they're doing. That's what he was told me on Saturday. Coach Flynn called Strickland a colleague and mentor for many years. Game speed. Then we're not surprised in the game. Strickland coached the girls' basketball team to a state championship, coached football, track and field, and taught P.E. while helping his students succeed on and off the field. He'll never be forgotten. He'll never be replaced for what he's done to the Fayette County community. Like I said, he, he did everything. He was here all the time. Flynn says Strickland did not let cancer stop him. Two weeks ago, he could be found in his office finishing grades before the holiday break. But I knew he was struggling. I knew he was in pain later on down, but he never complained. The basketball team in June tweeting a video of Strickland, blessed and excited to get speed training from the best all-around coach in the state of Georgia, the tweet read. He was here night in, night out, dedicated to sports, school, and getting us better as young men. Basketball player Jacoby Coleman is also the school's starting quarterback. Strickland was the school's quarterback coach. Coleman says the news of his coach's death left him in shock. It's just heartbreaking. Like, the Fayette County High School was known for Coach Strickland, Coach Flynn. And with one of the head pieces gone is just irreplaceable. Coach Flynn, though, reminding Coleman and his classmates to think about the positive. He's, he's in no more pain. So that's how we got to look at it. That's how we got to approach it. He's in no more pain, and he's in a better place. And an example of the support Coach Strickland has here in Fayette County and beyond is an online fundraiser set up to help with his funeral and other expenses. That fundraiser started less than two days ago with a goal of $5,000. As of late this afternoon, nearly three times that total has already been raised. The clock is 